Hey, yo, this is exhausting. I've been trying to find a new motherboard, and they got all these power phases, and I don't know which one I should pick. So, power phases help deliver steady electricity to your CPU and other parts of your PC. Let's pour over the details. Okay, see, I couldn't find that on Bing, so how's this whole stuff work? So, your CPU and other components, like the GPU and the RAM, need electricity to work, but it has to be consistent and controlled. So the power phases divide your power into smaller, more manageable chunks to keep everything running smoothly. So wait, why does steady power matter? So consistent power keeps your system stable. It prevents crashes and it protects your hardware from damage. Without it, your CPU could overheat or even wear out faster over time. Oh, so more power phases are better, right? Uh, usually, yeah. So more phases spread the power across multiple parts of your CPU that reduces heat and stress on your PC. A six plus two phase design, which has six phases reserved for the CPU and two reserved for other parts, works well for most people. But if you're gaming or doing heavy work, I would look for a motherboard with 10 or more CPU phases. Mm, does every motherboard have power phases then? Yeah, so they all have phases, but higher end boards tend to have more phases. That's why they're better for gaming or heavy workloads. And it's also why they cost more. Got it, so power phases really just kind of keep everything safe and running efficiently so it doesn't explode. Exactly, they're like a support system for your CPU and other parts. It makes sure they get exactly what they need to perform their best, but not too much. 